Now we'll start with integral calculus. The first part of it is indefinite integrals. So the first definition that comes in the way is if f and g are two functions of x such that g dash x is equals to f x, then integral of f x this is the sign for integral f x dx is equals to g x plus c as we are not putting any limits on the integration uh, integral part so this is indefinite integration now this can also be written as d by dx of g x plus c is equals to f x where the c is the constant for constant of integration or for for integration okay constant of integration now let's take one example x square let's take fx is equals to x square okay now we we know that g of x is g g of x will be integral of fx dx right plus c this implies integral of x square which is equals to x cube by 3 will be equals to g of x plus c so g of x will be some g of x will be x cube by 3 plus g of x will be x cube by 3 right and c will be some other part c will be some constant so whenever you are integrating a function of x then you have to put a limit there okay so g of x is x cube by 3 and this integration will be x cube by 3 plus c fine now the standard we will read some of the standard formulas so they are standard formulas first of all is the basic one integral of ax plus b the linear function to the power n which is a constant or a uh, natural number which is not equals to 1 in any case this will be ax plus b to the power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 okay just like we did in x square that in there a was 1 and b was 0 okay and n was 2 so let's put it here in the right hand side we will get x plus 0 to the power 3 upon 3 right so x cubed by 3 that's why we got the gx as x cubed by 3 okay now we'll move on let me drop this part now the second formula in here we'll add plus c and n is not equals to minus 1 okay in that case there is a different that that is a different case let's deal with that integration of 1 upon ax plus b dx this is ax plus b in this n is this n is minus 1 so that's why we, we bring it to the denominator the different integration of this is 1 by a ln of ax plus b this is b plus c the constant of integration is uh, everywhere included in the indefinite integration not in the definite integration we'll read that later third one is third one third of the standard formula is integral of e to the power ax plus b dx this is equals to 1 by a e to the power ax plus b plus c okay this constant of integration the integration of this will be this a will be down here okay 1 upon a fourth one fourth important formula fourth standard formula actually these are all the standard formulas so you need to learn them okay 1 upon ax plus b 1 by a ln of ax plus b like 1 upon x plus 1 so integration of 1 upon x plus 1 dx will be 1 upon a is 1 so ln x plus 1 plus c okay so by just this formula we can get to this answer now 
फिफ्थ वन इज इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ फोर्थ वन इज इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ एट दी पॉर पी एक्स प्लस क्यू डी एक्स दिस विल बी वन बाय पी इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ दिस विल बी वन बाय पी ए टू दी पॉर पी एक्स प्लस क्यू ओके यू कैन सी दैट एवरीवेयर दिस दिस कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स इज ब्रिंग वी वी आर ब्रिंगिंग डाउन दिस कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स इन एवरी केस इन द फर्स्ट केस A was here. In the first case, this case, second case, this A was down here. In the third case also, A is down here. Now in the fourth case, we have P, which was the which is the coefficient of x in P x plus q. So this upon ln A, this is the integration of A to the power P x plus q plus C, and A is greater than zero because ln of A is we are defining ln of A in the denominator. So A is greater than zero. And a is not equal to one, fine? Because in that case, it will be only dx. One to the power something is one. So integral of dx is x. Now to the next formula, which is fifth formula. That is sine term. Now we are going to trigonometric ratios. So sine of ax plus b that is equals dx will be equals to minus one by a. Again, we are bringing down the a here down. Okay. And cos of a x plus b. If it was a square, then a square will bring will bring down a square. So minus one by a cos of a x plus b plus c. Right now for cos cos of a x plus b, there can be many variations with using a and b using different values of a and b. It will be one by a sine of a x plus b. The nice way to remember this is. The integration of sine is cos and cos is sine, and just that integration of sine. Whenever you we are getting cos as the answer, we will put a negative sign. This is important. Okay, this negative sign is important. Now we'll move on to the seventh formula, which is for tan of a x plus b d x integral of tan of a x plus b d x that is equals to one upon a again one upon a. Ln sec of ax plus b. Fine. You can change the values of sec of a and b as one and zero. Then you'll get ln sec of x plus c. Okay. Now eighth formula is for integral of cot of ax plus b. That will be one by a ln sine because cot is what. Cos upon sine. So if you take ln sine, then when you when you when you are differentiating ln function, then this thing will come down. So we have sine x, and the differentiation of this thing will be cos x. So that's why we have cot of a x plus b dot dx. Now one by a ln sine a x plus b plus c. Fine. Now next one is sec square. Seventh one, eighth one is integration of sec square a x plus b d x. This is equals to one upon a ten of a x plus b. Okay, sec square is asked, not sec sec of a x plus b is not asked. So I am dealing with this one. Now this is ten of a x plus b. The differentiation of ten is sec square. So integration of sec square will be Ten of this. Okay, you have to get this knowledge. Uh, integration of x is x square by two, and differentiation of x square by two is x. Well, this is plus c, so we don't consider. But differentiation of this thing is also x. So that's why this is the thing. That integration of something is differentiation of the other thing. Now, ninth formula. Uh, is cos x square. That will be cos x square a x plus b d x will be minus one by a again a negative sign because we are dealing with cos x square minus one by a cot of a x plus b plus c. Okay, this is the formula. Now. Next one is sec of x. 
let's take the sec of x thing. Integral of sec of x dx. That will be ln of sec x plus 10x plus c. Okay. The next one is ln of uh, the uh, integration of cosec x dx that will be ln of cosec x minus cortex plus c. Now, these were all the trigonometric functions. Now, we'll deal with algebraic functions. So, first of all of them is root of a square minus x square. So, whenever you are dealing with this type of things, a square minus x square and it is in root, then you have to deal it with substitution. So, x, you put x as a sine theta. Because if, if you go in this square root, a square minus and put this value, you will get a square sine square theta. This will give you a square cos square theta. Because 1 minus sine square theta is cos square theta. So, root of that, root of that will give you a cos theta. Fine. So, you have get, you got rid of this square root part. And you have get, a, you have got a, this a constant term. Okay, a cos theta. So, that's how you can do this. And, of course, the dx part will change. dx will be a cos theta d theta. Differentiation of this part. a is constant. So, a will remain the same. Sin theta, differentiation of sin theta is cos theta d theta. Okay. Now, I can drop this. Now, I'll get to know about This integration, this integration is, of course, we put x is equals to a sin theta, so it will be sin inverse x by a plus c. Okay, just like that you can know about it. Then, 13th formula, that will be about dx upon a square plus x square. Well, in this case, you know that 1 plus 10 square theta is equals to sec square theta, so you put x is equals to a 10 theta. Okay, so in the denominator you have, we don't have a root, but you know, we get simplified. You get simplified denominator. So that's why we use this. Now, if you are using 10 theta, then this will be 1 by a, 10 inverse, x by a. Remember in this case, you don't have 1 by a. But in every other case, you will have 1 by a. So you can remember for sine theta. Okay, I have... I have told you the method, how to do this integration. So, you can do it. Now, I will move on to second verse and log function, logarithmic functions. The next function will be, next function is, 13th one, that is, root of, integration of, root of, x square minus a square, into mod x, dx. Fine? This integration is 1 upon a sec inverse x by a plus c. Now, in this case, we have x square minus a square. So, we'll put x is equals to a sec theta. So, that you get without root a ten theta. Fine, because a, a square sec square theta. x square will be a square sec square theta. And minus a square will be a square into sec square theta minus 1. That will be a square ten square theta. And root of that will be root of a square 10 square theta will be a 10 theta and you have got the, you got free from root, square root function. So that's why we, we can use this. Fine. Now we'll use, now we'll see the next formula, which is 14th. Integration of dx upon root of x square plus a square. These are some particular standard integrations, so you can use them, you can just think about them, okay. We have put x is equals to a sec theta in this. So that's why we have a sec inverse function. Okay. This is x plus root of x square plus a square plus c. Fine. The differentiation of this part will give you this part. And the integration of this part will give you this part. Next, next one is dx upon root of x square minus a square dx. Okay, dx I have written. So, this will be equals to ln of same x square minus a square plus c. 
Okay, this just the same like x square plus a square, x square minus a square, they both are identical. Fine. Now we we'll move on to the next formula. Sixteenth formula is root dx upon integral of dx upon a square minus x square. That will be one upon two a. See this case. This is easy. A plus x upon a minus x plus c. How do we do this? This is a square minus b square thing. So we can divide it into. Uh, you can write it as a minus x into a plus x. Fine. Now you can write it like dx upon a minus x minus integral dx upon a plus x. Fine. You can write it like this. But when you do this, when you separate the uh, denominator, then you have a factor common, which will be in this case one by two a because of uh, x plus a minus x minus a. Fine, because of this thing, or you can say a minus x plus a plus x. So that's why you have something like this. Now you have two a. This is equals to two a. So the factor is two a. Okay. You, I missed. Uh, you should add this because we have x as negative. So now let me drop this part. Now from this you can get from this ln of a minus x. From this ln of I'm sorry. This is this was negative. So this will be negative. Ln of a plus x, then one upon two a. So you get ln of something by something is, of course this. So you get a uh, the in different integration part. Fine. Now we'll move on to the next formula. That will be seventeenth. That is integration of root of a square minus x square dx. Now in this case is also x is a sine theta, or you can put x is a cos theta. It doesn't matter because they are both the same. This will give you the same answer: root of a square minus x square plus a square by two sine inverse x by a. Fine plus c. Now these were all the formulas you have to learn about. Now we'll move on to some different ones. Okay, whenever you have like whenever you have integration of root of x square plus a square, you put x is equals to a ten theta. Okay, whenever you have root of x square minus a square, then you can put x as a sec theta and you can calculate it because they will not ask you this integration, but they will ask you harder. So you have to put this value at some time. So I am not putting it here. You can practice this. I have told you how to do this. Fine. Now we'll move on to the next formula: integration by substitution. How do we do that? Integration by substitution. Now, how it is done? If we substitute f x is equals to t, if we substitute f x is equals to t, then f dash x dx is equals to dt. Just like the formula. One upon root of a square minus x square dx. Okay, we put x is equals to a sine theta. So f x is equals to t. So f dash x dx will be dt. Differentiate it with respect to t. So with respect to x, this is one dt. Okay, let me say this is dx. Okay, differentiating it a. Cos theta, sin theta is differentiation is cos theta and d theta. Okay, so this is the thing. This is the relation between dx and theta. Now what do we do? We put the value of dx, a cos theta d theta, divided by integration uh, root of a square minus x square. Now a square minus x square will be a square minus a square sin square theta. That will be a square one minus sin square theta. That will be a square cos square theta. So root of this will be root of this. Root of this will be root of this. So this will be a cos theta. So a cos theta. Now this got cancelled and d theta is theta. So this will be 
sin inverse x by a plus c theta plus c theta is what theta is calculated from this equation x this a is divided in this side and then sin inverse is taken so sin inverse x by a will be theta fine so this is the integration by substitution now we'll do the integration by part